Well, good morning. How are we all doing this morning? Come on, I heard you guys before. You could get louder than that. How are we doing this morning? That's better. That's better. Hey, for those of you who don't know me, I'm Ollie or Oliver. Some of you will call. Some of you will know me as Ollie or Oliver. I'm the youth pastor here. Um, you'll find me hanging around on Friday night, having lots of fun with some of you guys and some of our grade threes to five as well. It's awesome. Hey, I'm bringing the word tonight, and we've been talking about Peter. Hey, I've got a question for you though. When was the last time you did something bold? When was the last time? I don't want you to answer it, but think about it for a moment. I'm going to tell you a bit of a story about me, right? The first time I did something bold, I was so scared. It was the first time I was asked to sing at church, in big church. And I was so scared, right? The music started, the, the, the band started playing, and I was standing there, and someone was sitting at the front, and they go, Stop. you need to start singing, you, you need to start singing. I was just like, I was so scared. Maybe for you, it could be like, maybe it could be at a, um, a school assembly, maybe you were giving something to read, and you're like, I don't know how to do this. Or maybe you started, and you messed it up. You're like, I don't, have, I don't have the courage or the boldness to do this. Or maybe you, it was a big race or a big singing competition. Think about it. It's worth thinking about, all right? We've got, uh, what's our, our key verse um, that we think it's from Mark 1, 17, which says that. Let's read it together. I think it will come up on the screen. Jesus said to them, follow me and I'll make you fish for people. That's so good. And I'll make you fish for people. You know, I want to tell you another story about four friends in the Bible who did something really, really bold. They had a friend who couldn't walk. He's been laying in a mat for, on, on, a mat, on a mat for a very long time. He could not walk. Now, they heard that Jesus was coming to their town. They heard that Jesus was coming. So what did they do? They took their friend with them. They carried him in a mat. mat and it's like, let's say they were coming to Dor like Jesus was coming to Door of Hope. So they came in and people were everywhere. They could not get to Jesus. They're like, what are we going to do? They did something bold. They're like, we, we want our friend to be healed. We want him to know about Jesus. So what they did was they climbed and took the roof off. They took, off, they took the roof where Jesus was staying and they lowered their friend down right in front of Jesus. They're like, we want, we want you to meet Jesus. How bold is that? Would you be bold to do something like that? That, 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 is, that is so awesome. Maybe for you, at, maybe it's friends at school, would you be bold enough to go to a friend who is sitting by themselves and say, hey, can you come, come, come and join my group? Yes, people are going to make fun of you. Some of your friends are like, what are you inviting them here for? You know, or would you, maybe someone is at school, maybe don't have lunch. Would you be bold enough to share your lunch with them? Would you be bold enough to encourage other people to come in your friendship group as well? This is what those four friends, they didn't want Jesus to, they didn't want their friend to miss out on what Jesus had for them. And we've been talking about Peter as well. Peter mess up so many times. He did so many silly things. But one day, as we've read, as we've heard over, there were all these, th all these people gathered. And then they were, they, were, they, were, um, they were saying things and people didn't understand what they were saying. And some people were like, oh no, you, these guys are crazy. Or people are saying that, oh no, they've had too much alcohol. And then Peter, Peter got up. It's like, no, it's not. Peter got, can you imagine talking to 3,000 people? Let me count. One, two, three, four, five. I don't have many, many uh, uh, fingers and toes. But can you imagine speaking to 3,000? It's, like, it's like going to the Silver Dome and full of people, and then you have to get up and speak to them. You've never done that before. But that's what Peter did. Peter got up. He goes, no, what they're doing is because of what Jesus has done. 
and speak. And Peter spoke boldly to those people. He spoke boldly. And we heard that after he spoke, so many people came to know Jesus and gave their life to Jesus. You know, Jesus wants to do the same to us. We have to be bold enough to do it. Peter didn't do it by himself. Jesus allowed him to do that. And many of us, Jesus wants us to, to step out. Yes, like I've already said, you might get teased. You know, you might get, um, I remember when I was in college, I always play music, um, Christian songs when I, because I, I play drums. When I go into the music room, I always play Christian songs and I was playing, I went to Newstead College and my, some of my friends would come in and go, why are you playing that for? I will get teased about it. And like, you should not be playing it. And they're like, oh, they'll see me walking in school. They go, oh, it's a Christian guy. But you know what? There were a couple of us who were so serious about our faith. 20 of our friends at New State College became Christians. And some of them are still in, in church here today and are still walking with Christ. So would you be bold and speak, for G and speak about Jesus and what he's done in your life? All right, that's, that's my word today about the boldness. Let's go to that key verse one more, one more time. We've got it up in the screen. Let's say it one more time. What was this? Jesus said to them, follow me and I will make you fish for people. Awesome. I'm going to invite Dorothy to join me up here now. Yes. I think I pray now. Yes. In this. All right. Awesome. Who wants to pray? Let's join, join with me. Let's pray. Lord, thank you that you are the one who empowers us. You said you will never leave us, you will never forsake us. Lord, I pray God that as we step out in boldness in sharing our faith with our friends and with the people around us, that Lord, you will be with us. You will give us the courage that we need to step out like Peter did to share you with others. In Jesus' name, amen. amen.